Hey guys, it's Simply Obsessed and welcome to my channel and welcome to part 11 of my Sims 4 Parenthood Let's Play series. If you missed the last part, basically what happened? Marco and Lance went on a date, they had a really great time, they went to the romance festival, they got all romantical, they renewed their vows, and when they came home, they decided to trap for a baby. And I'm pretty much picking, off right, picking up right where I left off. It's like 6 in the morning and they just finished finished Wuhan and everybody's you know they're all happy and energized so they tried for a baby and we need to find out if Margo is expecting hopefully she is fingers crossed fingers crossed fingers crossed let's get into this let's play is she let's take a pregnancy test let's see let's see let's see is she is she is she are you are you are you like are you are you pregnant are you are you preggers? Can you be? Are you preggers? Oh, Please, oh, did it work? Oh. Hmm? Hmm? Oh. Yay! <laughs> Congratulations! Margo is expecting there's going to be a new addition to this household! Yay! <laughs> I was kind of worried that it wouldn't work. So hopefully there's some twins in there, because this house is on the ley line. Is he excited? Is he excited? Oh, for a second I was worried, because he's like, we already have three! <laughs> okay! Alrighty, yeah. he's excited. I was worried for a moment. Yeah. Yay, so she's expecting, which is awesome because we already have space carved out for the for the little ones. I'm claiming it this time. We already have space for the little ones in Olivia's old room. So there, yay! So we have to share the news with the kids when they wake up. He's, is he happy or is he? What's happening with you? Are you okay, Lance? <laughs> Or are you like, oh my god, we're having a baby, I'm happy, what but we already have three, what the heck are we thinking? Ah, oh well. But um, for happy his big happy travel. family aspiration, I think he needs to have, like, five kids for for him to, to complete all the tasks with that aspiration, so, eh, he wants a big happy family anyway. Alrighty, so... Yeah, I'm just so excited about that. Alrighty, um, 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 um alright, it's seven o'clock in the morning. And who's hungry? Lance is hungry and Margot's hungry. Well, cook some <laughs> breakfast for your pregnant wife. Uh oh, we have a kiddo waking up. What's wrong, Ollie? Are you okay? Are you okay? Huh? Are you alright? I thought you had a nightmare. Alrighty, Lance, what are you doing? Oh, he's checking on the, uh, the toddler. He's checking on Blake. Alright, so Blake needs a bath, some fun, and some attention. And he's very sad. Oh my gosh. He's very sad. He's funky. He, oh my gosh, he has a diaper rash. Oh my gosh, poor, poor, poor Blake. Dad, you're up. Mama's pregnant. Don't have her doing too much. Let's go ahead and toddler care. Let's give him a bath. And while you're giving him a bath, Margo, you can go ahead and, and fix breakfast. I was going to have him do it, but you can fix breakfast. Oh, so let's make sure that it's vegetarian friendly again. <laughs> let's, let's, let's check, because um, I remember last time I had you eat something that wasn't vegetarian friendly. So uh, we can have some fruit salad. That's a healthy breakfast. Oh, and today is Sunday, and I remember saying how I wanted them to volunteer every Sunday. Oh. So if we have time for that, we'll make sure that they volunteer. Olivia, what's up with you, big girl? I'm not used to her being a teenager. Just look at her. All right, so Olivia, what do you need to do? You need some fun and you're hungry. Well, come over here and just mess with your brother. Um, complain about your problems. Uh, flick his nose. <laughs> and um, what else can you do? Oh, Bacaro. Tell a funny story, you know, just, you need some fun, so mess with your brother. And what's happening over here with this kid? What's happening with this kiddo? Awesome! You got a bath, Blake. Now you just need some fun so you can come over here and play with your blocks. And Ollie, you need some fun too. Are you two getting along? You need some fun too. So how about you go in here and play with your baby brother? Oh, and we need to have um, Margot announce the big news. Share the big news with everybody. Where's the fruit salad? So grab a serving of that. Who else is hungry? 
Olivia's hungry. Grab a serving. Let's have breakfast. I love it! Look at them eating breakfast as a family. Just so adorable. So, so cute. So, so cute. Oh, and she's on her phone like a teenager. <laughs> Like a teenager. Oh, so since Olivia is a teenager now, I want her to start hanging with some of her teenage friends and see if we can get her a boyfriend eventually. Because, you know, she's a teenager now and I want her to go on a date. You know, Lance probably isn't going to be happy about that. But, you know, she's a teenager now. She's growing up. Mom, since you're done with that. No, we're not going to breakfast with you. Since you're done with that, I want you to share the big news with Olivia first. Share the big news. Are you excited? Are you going to be happy about this? Or are you be like, oh god, another kid? Yay, she's happy! Awesome! Nice! Okay. She's happy. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> but I don't know, can teenagers get upset about the news about another kid being on the way? I'm not sure. But yay, she told one kid, so that's awesome. Two more to go. Well, just one more to go, because Blake's not going to understand what's going on. Alright, Mama, come over here and talk to Ali. Tell him the big news. Share big news. And just let Olivia finish eating. And she needs some fun, so... You know what? Maybe let's just have Olivia go out with some friends today. It is a Sunday, and she doesn't have school, so... Eh... Does anybody want to volunteer? Does anybody have the wish to volunteer with family? She wants to become f playful. She wants to start a club gathering. Oh, we can definitely take care of that. Be friendly with Lance. We can do that. And he wants to get a promotion. Oh, so we can have him focus on what he needs to do for a promotion, too. So he needs to reach level 2 programming skill. And I need to remember to have Margot work on some books, her writing skill, to bring in some money. So practice programming because we need you to get a promotion because we're going to have another kiddo on the way. So, oh, I missed his reaction. I think he was happy. Oh, he's hanging out with his little brother. I think he was happy. Yeah, I think he was happy. Alright, so enough chatting with Ali. Mama, what can you do? What can you do? Um, just go over here and relax and just watch some TV. Just do something for yourself. Just watch some TV. And Olivia, I want you to... I wanted them to volunteer every Sunday, but yeah, we, we've seen that before. We've seen them volunteer a couple times. So Olivia, since it's a Sunday and you don't have school and you're in need of some fun, how about you hang out with some teenagers? Yeah, because you know quite a few. And you know a boy, but oh, well, he's he's a young adult. I thought Wolfgang was a teen. Uh, he aged up. But let's just have you go out and enjoy yourself, because you're a teenager. And what time is the the curfew? What is what's what's the curfew? Let's see. Set curfew. Curfew is for seven. I'll change it to nine, because Olivia is a teenager. I'll just change it to nine for today. And. Yeah. All right. So, Olivia, darling, let's have you t -t 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 travel, and let's have you travel with some teens. Like, let's see. You don't really have a relationship with any of them, but this will be a good way to get to know them and become friends. Let's travel with Luna. She's a teen, right? Let's have you travel with Luna, Billy. Oh, you have some sort of relationship with Billy. I don't want her to travel with too many people, so, because that would be kind of hard. Well, you kind of have a relationship with Billy already, and this Brandon guy. Yeah, you got a tiny relationship with Brandon, and somewhat of a tiny relationship with Billy, and, ooh, and, and Elsa. But I don't want too many people, so let's have you hang out with the boy and Billy. Yeah, let's have you hang out with them. And where should they go? I want them to do something. Oh, let's have them go. Let's have them go bowling. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's have them go bowling. So Olivia can get out the house and hang out with some kids her own age. And let's get to know this Brendan guy. Because I, I want Olivia to have a boyfriend. I want her to have her, her first love and, and see how that works out for her. Because I, I, I think that's so sweet. And here they are. And I, I love Billy. That's her name? I love Billy's outfit. Like this dress and that hat. I think that's kind of cute. I know it's kind of different, but I think it's kind of yeah, cute. Yeah. And you can see uh, Olivia in her her teenage outfit oh she's so grown up okay she needs some fun so let's bowl together let's bowl together will that boost your fun let's bowl together come on guys there we go so she's out of the house with kids Oop. <laughs> that is totally me when I bowl like I try so hard to be the best bowler that this planet has ever known but every time we go bowling I'm like I'm gonna do better this time I'm actually gonna win a game and I just completely suck at bowling like the last time I went bowling the only way that I won was by doing the granny bowl you know when you hold the ball with both hands between your legs and you just toss it like I know it might sound pitiful but that's the only way I can can kind of win at bowling you know I I, I just I kind of suck at it <laughs> so hopefully Olivia can play a lot better than me oh she only got one no I don't know hopefully she wins though I love this bowling alley like I love how how nice it is and how you know the all this over here lights up I think that's kind of cool but I love seeing Olivia out and about with friends and you know Teenagers oh, her own guy. age, Ooh. you know, people her own oh. age. That's Brendan guy's a teen. So maybe we can get to know him and you know, see if he likes us. Because I want Olivia to have a boyfriend. We gotta make that happen. And she's happy. Oh, she needs to she didn't take a shower today. Oh gosh. Oh dear. Hopefully she's not funky by the end of this game. Let's see. Let's see. I don't really bowl much in the game. Does this show who the winner is? I totally forgot. Oh well. well that's enough of that. Because, um, yeah, it's almost 2 and she's going to be funky soon. So where did Billy go? Billy, where did she go? Where's Billy? Did Billy just leave us? Fine, I think Billy just left left the group. Oh well, so it's just you and Brendan. So, um, <laughs> let's give him props. Let's get to know him. Give him props. Is he still playing? Give props. Uh, awesome. Give props. Um, oh, he's mean. Olivia has learned the following traits. About, oh, he's mean. I don't want Olivia to have a mean boyfriend. So, I don't know. I don't think we're going to flirt with this guy. Maybe we'll just be his friend. But I don't want her to have a mean boyfriend. No. Hopefully we can get to know some more teen guys. Yeah, look at that. This guy's being a jerk. Yeah, he's being a jerk. So, yell at him and then go home. Stand up for yourself, Olivia. Like, don't you talk to me like that. Oh, it was a short-lived outing, but she hung out with Billy, who was nice, before she left. And this Brendan guy is a jerk. He's mean, and I don't want her to have a mean boyfriend, so... Eh. But she was able to get out the house and hang out with people her own age. And honestly, I don't remember if I had them do um, their homework. So let me check that because I know they have school tomorrow. And yesterday they went on a date. Mom and dad went on a date. And I can't remember if I had them do their homework that Friday. So let me check on that. So Olivia is home. And I want them to be good students. And she's home before curfew because <laughs> it's 2 in the afternoon. But um, did she do her homework? Oh, that's right. She's a teenager now. She has different homework. Yeah. Do your homework, Olivia. Because I want them to, to be to be good students. So do your homework. You went out for a little bit. You had some fun. Ali, are you okay? Did you do... Oh, Ali's hungry. Are there any leftovers? Eat this. Eat some of this fruit salad. Grab a serving. And do your homework after that. And we can have Dad. Is he busy? We can have Dad help Olivia with homework boost that parenting skill 
And he needs to read to a child for two hours to um, to gain the, the satisfaction points for this part of the aspiration. But did he do everything for his job? Okay, so he reached level two programming skill. So how far away are you from... You reached level one of the, the programming skill. So how far away are you from level two? Okay, so you got some work to do. Yeah, you got some work to do. So we need to make sure he takes care of that because we need a promotion very soon. Mama, what are you doing? Where's Blake? Oh no, he needs to pee. He's hungry and he's going to be tired. We need to take care of this toddler before he has a tantrum. So, potty train Blake. Potty train Blake. And then we'll feed him afterwards. And Dad, are you still helping Olivia with homework? Is she almost finished? Awesome. And Blake reached level two of the potty skill. And Olivia's homework is done. Awesome. So I was like, wait, did I have them do their homework? Because I know they go back to school tomorrow. All right, Dad, help, help Ollie with his homework. And Olivia, what are you doing? Oh, Margo reached level six parenting skill. Awesome. Okay, so she just needs to do one thing to boost up the thingy for the super parent aspiration. So she needs to help a child with schoolwork for four hours. Well, Dad's helping out now, so she can do that another time. Olivia's kind of tense, and she needs a shower, and she needs some fun. So, co oh, they're in that bathroom. What can you do for fun, girly? What can you do for fun? Uh, oh, she has a journal. Let's have her just write in her journal. Yeah, rant about stress. <laughs> and can we sell stuff in her inventory for some money? What is this? A science fiction book? We can sell that for tens of millions. Some spoiled salad? We can just put that in the trash. An old toy? Oh, a triceratops toy. Oh, but it's worth 65 some million, so no need to be nostalgic. We can just sell that. There we go. Olivia has acquired the writing skill. Awesome. Oh, and speaking of writing skill, we need to make sure that Margot works on her so she can get us some uh, monies. And look at Blake over there on the potty. He's so cute. All right, so Ollie did his homework, and he's good. Dad, what do you need to do? You're good. All right, Ollie, be a big boy and help out around the house. I need you to clean up these dishes. Dad... What can you do? How about you practice programming a little bit? Because we need you to get this promotion, and you actually want to get a promotion, which is awesome. Because we could use the monies. And Blake is angry. <laughs> we have an angry toddler. Margo, go ahead and feed the baby boy. Give him some food. It's around dinner time, so let's just give him a ham and cheese sandwich. And she needs to pee, but feed him first. Feed him first. Feed him first. There you go. And then you can use the bathroom. Ollie, can you talk to your brother while he's while he's um eating? Oh, he can give him a drink. He can give him apple juice, milk, or water, but he's eating right now. He's not really thirsty. Alright, Ollie Pop, you're good. Um, come hang out with your sister. Talk about school since she's gonna to go to high school for the first time tomorrow. Ooh, she's kind of funky too. We need to make sure she takes a shower. Oh. She wants to so we're not doing that. Be funny with Ali and get a promotion. Uh how will you get a promotion without a job? Hmm. Well, maybe that's what we could do to uh, have her meet some more teenagers. She can get a job. Should Olivia get a job? I think we should get Olivia a job because we can use the money, but I want her to have a social life too. So, you know what? We'll have her get a job, and if it interferes too much with her having a social life, we can always just have her quit. <laughs> we can always have her quit. But it would be a good way to bring in some monies and have her hopefully meet some some more teenagers. Oh, she wants to finish extra credit homework. We can probably take care of that, too. She's so tense. She wants to throw a tantrum. Throw a tantrum! <laughs> I didn't know teenagers could throw a tantrum. Okay, that's awesome. Alright, but you're still tense. You need some fun. 
How about you? What can you do? Just watch TV. And Ollie, he needs some fun. Yeah, so let's have you no know what watch a movie together. Let's watch Moonlight Massacre. <laughs> let's have our kid watch Moonlight Massacre with mom and his big sister. It's awesome. Oh no! We left Blake in the in the high chair. Dad, take a break real real quick. Let him out. Let him out. Pick him up. Pick him out. Pick him up. Come on, do it. Mom's sitting down. You take care of it. There you go. Aw, he is so cute. I love Blake's little outfit. Alright, um, what can you do real quick? Take a break from studying. Parenting. Teach him to say please. And oh no, what's happening? He's Oh, he's exhausted. He's probably not going to want to learn how to say please and thank you right now because he's exhausted. Oh, but his manners are going up. He has an angry face. Alright, enough of that. Put him. We can read Blake to sleep because it's 8 o'clock at night. That little boy needs to be in bed. He's in his cute little purple jammies. I know you're exhausted. We're going to read you a story. Oh, how cute! Nice. I love it. Oh, what are these people doing over here? Ollie, you okay? Hope you don't have a nightmare after watching this movie. What are your needs? Hey, right, so he's still got some energy. And what is Olivia doing? Oh, Olivia needs a shower, to use the bathroom, and to eat. So, let's have you... Who's this guy? Hey, it's our old, um... It's our old babysitter guy. Let's let him in. Let's chat with him. Invite him in. Invite him in. You go take a shower. Mom, announce... Announce your pregnancy. Share big news with him. So we're gonna need your services again pretty soon. <laughs> you know he loves it. Job security. <laughs> awesome. Let's chat with him. Um, help fix bad relationship. I don't know what that's about. Let's. Let's see. I want him to. Yeah, let's ask about his day. Ask about his day. Joke about old times. <laughs> when she just had Olivia and Ollie. Now she's got three with another. Well, with two on the way, hopefully. Ollie, it's 9 30, buddy. You should be going to bed because you have school tomorrow. Is Dad still reading? So how about you read, um, let's read Ollie to sleep. Can we read Ollie to sleep? No? Huh? Well, let's just put him to bed because I want him to have some time with Margo before he has to go to bed too because he works tomorrow, right? Yeah, he works tomorrow. And this guy is just like going to our computer. Okay. Alrighty. There you go. And what's Olivia doing? Using the bathroom. It's 10 o'clock at night. Um, you can grab something to eat real quick. Eat some chips. And mom and dad just sit here. Dad, sit here. And you eat your chips with the, the family. Sit on the couch together. Oh. Nice, I love it. So, let's see. What can you chat about with mom? Ask about woohoo. <laughs> Since you're pregnant and all, this is a perfect time to ask about woohoo. Ask about woohoo. Or maybe it can't be done while she's sitting. Is she asking about it? Are they talking about it? Ask that about woohoo. Can you ask that about woohoo? Let's see. Ask about woohoo. <laughs> They're having the woohoo talk over chips. <laughs> and it's almost 11, so she'll she'll be going to bed soon anyway. After she eats, we'll put her to bed. I'm still not used to Olivia being a teenager. Like, she's so grown up. She's so, she's so big now. Alright, well, that's enough about that. Say goodnight. 
catch some Z's. <laughs> and our weirdo nanny is in our kids' room I'm playing with toys. <laughs> we'll just let him have his, his fun for a moment, I guess. We'll just leave him alone. We'll have these two chat it up. Um, give her a massage. Because, you know, she's pregnant. That would really help her out. That would really make her feel good. Oh. And. Do, 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 do. Brighten her day. Samzo, good bleep. Make a flirtatious joke. Tell her how beautiful she is with her her baby bump. Let's see. Can we compliment her appearance? Snursh Wallapepso. Romance. What are you talking about? Romance. I know I'm overlooking it. Oh, wow. But they're so cute together. I love them. Oh, this is Olivia's homework. Put that in our inventory. Oh, you know what? We need to make lunch, but we'll have that happen tomorrow. We can do that tomorrow. All right, mom is hungry and tired. I need the shower. Dad's hungry and tired, and I need a fun. And it's midnight, so let's just have these two go to sleep. Well, before they go to sleep, let's ask this guy to leave. <laughs> Like nice for you to stop by, you know, we're we're kinda uh, tired now. We want we want you to, to leave. How do we ask them to leave? Where's the thing? Uh, um bah. hug, gush about partner, give parenting tips, tell goofy story. <laughs> Dude, we want you to leave. Are you gonna leave? Oh. Is Lance gonna ask you to leave? Or is it yeah, he got he got the point. He's leaving on his own. Alright, so let's have everybody go to sleep. Awesome, awesome. And tomorrow's Monday, so Dad goes to work. He has to be at work at 7. And he reached level 2 parenting skill, which is awesome. Yay, so hopefully tomorrow he gets a promotion. And tomorrow will be Olivia's first day of high school. And we can have her make some friends and socialize. And hopefully she'll meet a nice boy because um, <laughs> Brenton, Brenton is not a nice guy. He's mean. So I don't want her to have a, a mean boyfriend. Now let's skip through this. Skip through this, skip through this, get the kids ready for school. Well, actually, how long has this part been? Because my, my, my stopwatch says it's been like 22 minutes, and I know I started it late, so it could possibly be 30 minutes. And this is actually the perfect place to leave off since they're going to sleep, and I'm, I'm, I was bad and didn't pay attention to how long I was recording. So you know what? I'm going to leave it here because I'm not sure how long it's been. I know that's bad. I'm sorry. Please don't yell at me. But I'm going to leave it here. And um, yeah, so give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Share it with your friends if you think they might like it. And if they are kind of unsure about getting the parenthood game pack you can share this this let's play with them so they can see some of the things that's happening and follow along with the best family excuse me guys i had to cough and i didn't want to do it on um while i was recording but yeah thank you so much for watching i appreciate each and every one of you you guys are awesome thank you so much for watching my videos for liking my videos for subscribing to this channel and i just want to take a moment to say thank you i will talk to you guys in the next video oh and before i go leave a comment telling me if you think we'll actually have twins this time because you know this is our second time trying for a baby and we only had one baby with blake so let me know if you guys think we'll have twins and yeah so bye guys i'll talk to you guys in the next video